Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a little bit of a follow-up to the last video I made about the noise reduction during recording uh, simply because of and I, I'm going to apologize in advance because a lot of your emails have been uh, forwarded to the spam folder by Outlook so I apologize about that but a lot of people have reached out saying that supposedly whenever they try to uh, follow the setup with equalizer APO and the Wormen noise reduction um, ensemble they have been having issues so I'm just going to take a couple of minutes of my time right now and redo it and hopefully cover the basics so that you guys can follow without any errors hello everyone and welcome back to another video this is going to be a little bit of a follow-up to the last video I made about the noise reduction during recording uh, simply because of and I, I'm going to apologize in advance because a lot of your emails have been uh, forwarded to the spam folder by Outlook so I apologize about that but a lot of people have reached out saying that supposedly whenever they try to uh, follow the setup with equalizer APO and the Wormen noise reduction um, ensemble they have been having issues so I'm just going to take a couple of minutes of my time right now and redo it and hopefully cover the basics so that you guys can follow without any errors general requirements for this video are going to be four very distinguished files number one it's going to be the visual c++ redistributable libraries which uh in 2024 sadly a lot of drivers and a lot of softwares depend on it working number two it's going to be the equalizer apo version 1.4 installer number three file is going to be the Wormen noise reduction file dll profiles and last but not least, and I'm sure uh, that you guys have noticed that there is no fourth file, but hear me out for a sec. It's going to be your manufacturer's driver for the audio circuit and the audio chip. The reason why I haven't included one in particular is because mine is going to be different than yours. I am using a dedicated sound card. I don't want you to think that the driver for my sound card is absolutely going to work for your computer you need to go to your computer's driver download page and download your latest available driver from there. Let's begin by first and foremost installing the visual C++ redistributable libraries. If you have an SSD, this is a quick two minute job. I have already installed it, so I don't need to have it anymore. Second, we're going to, well, not me in particular, but you are going to install the audio drivers from your manufacturer. Same thing, it's a pretty quick endeavor. If it asks you to reboot your computer, please do. You want to make sure that all the files changes are taken into effect and the computer is using your driver fully. Next, we're going to install Equalizer APO. I am going to run it with administrative privileges and the setup is pretty simple because we are just going to remain with the driver default or sorry with the software default when the device selector pops up make sure that you select the microphone that you are going to be using it on I am currently using a Blue Yeti streaming microphone so this is what I need to select and the background noise is there for a reason we're going to be doing a before and after comparison make sure that you select your capture device appropriately and go ahead and click on ok installed without a hitch everything is good so we're going to click on next and it's going to tell us that the dialog can be reopened anytime that's fantastic we're going to click on ok and with that the setup is going to complete the operation and we're going to finish out of it last but not least we are going to extract the Wormen noise uh, reduction profiles and you're going to have five folders now configuration there we go so start the equalizer apo configuration editor and where it says the prompt that you have not installed 
the driver to a device go ahead and click on no the reason you're going to be clicking on no is because by default it grabs the first available device and that's usually your speaker you do not want to install the noise reduction profile onto your speaker instead under the device drop down menu you are going to go down to select your microphone that you installed the drivers to and next we're just going to get rid of all the unnecessary uh, <coughs> profile manipulators and we are going to add one of our own we're going to add a filter so click on the green plus highlight plugins and click on VST plugin now you're going to get a new entry and it's going to say no file selected that is totally normal we haven't selected our library yet in the Wormen noise reduction profile DLLs you need the VST folder and inside the VST there is an RNN noise underscore stereo and an RNN noise underscore mono if you have a fairly recent microphone and I'm talking within the last 10 years you're probably good with stereo if you have a specific microphone to which your device manufacturer specifically says to use mono profiles go ahead and use mono and that's perfectly fine go ahead and click on that little folder and it's going to open a file browser copy the path and enter it into the file browser and then select stereo but you are going to encounter an error and that error basically says that the library is not readable by the audio service change the file permissions or copy the file to the VST plugins directory what that means is that where we have it extracted currently the APO installation does not have the necessary permission to access the files and that's a very easy fix here's what we're going to do so we're going to turn it off we're going to cut the five folders and we're going to navigate over to the equalizer APO folder so C program files equalizer APO and there's a VST plugins folder that we're going to paste all of our plugins into it's going to request administrative permissions and we're going to allow them to so now we are going to turn it back on and we're going to click on the little blue folder into equalizer APO and we're going to browse to the new path to select again the VST plugin with the stereo profile and as soon as comes, it comes into effect you can hear a humongous difference between my current microphone as it's sounding right now and how it sounded 10-15 seconds ago with all the background noise if you end up receiving that error just please note that uh, you're trying to access the files from a directory that does not have the necessary permissions I don't know if that's valid in Windows 10 I am running Windows 11 with Windows 11 the file permission structure is quite more advanced than Windows 10 so if you do run into file permission issues please make sure that you move those files into the appropriate folder if you are running into DLL uh, cannot be loaded issues that means that you have a dependency that is not resolved and just you need to install a little bit more um, software what that software is it's going to depend on your computer um, if you have any issues please let me know in the comments I will try to address it as best as I can but that's pretty much the tutorial it's quick and easy and it outright works with pretty significant effects as you guys can gauge Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.